Jump, led out by the pair from Hong Kong. Poon Lok Yang and Si Ying Swick. And the number four seeds, Jizuka Matsuo and Mami Nato from Japan. Mami Nato, the taller of the two Japanese players and the left-hander. So with both pairs in today's final, we have a left and a right-hander. So the pair from Hong Kong being introduced to the crowd here at Yuyogi National Stadium. And the Japanese pair of Shizuka Matsuo and Mami Nato. So all the introductions complete. And for one of these two women's doubles pairs, on the conclusion of this match, they will have won their first ever Super Series title. In fact, for the Hong Kong pair, this is their first time in a Super Series tournament final. For the Japanese pair, they've experienced that once previously. It was a couple of years ago at the Denmark Open. Lost that Denmark Open to their teammates, Maeda and Suitsuna, who of course were beaten in the semi-final yesterday by this Hong Kong pair. So they're the left-hander. See you on the switch. And they're the left-handed Japanese player, Mami Nato. So the left-hander, 20 years of age, her partner 21. And their world ranking is 21, seeded 7, as you can see, and their win-loss record for the year in the negative. And prior to this tournament, the best they've done was a quarter-final at the All England Championships. But all of their previous matches, they've had a, a real battle. All three previous matches against Japanese pairs, and all three of them going the full distance. And I can tell you, yesterday, uh, against the number three seeds, Maeda and Suitsuna, who of course were beaten finals here in Japan three years ago, they were 16 12 up in that opening game before they lost the next nine points, losing it 21 16. But they came back strongly in the end, 21 18, the deciding game. As for their Japanese opponents, well, both of them 25 years of age. Matsuo from Osaka. And they've gone up a couple of places in the world ranking this week, up from 11. Now at number nine, they will, are, of course, the number four seeds. Never previously better than a quarter final here in their home event. That was last year when they were the number six seeds. This, their first final of 2012 and as you can see from their previous matches tough matches in the first two rounds and an hour and 25 minutes 
for that quarter-final victory on uh, the number six seeds, um, Hai Wan and Jun Jang Yina. And in the semi-final, more Korean opposition. As we look at our umpire from India. So this judge from Thailand. Ladies and gentlemen, on my left, Hun Luk Yen and Che In Su, Hong Kong, China. And on my right, Isuka Matsuo and Mami Naito, Japan. Isuka Matsuo stole the Hun Luk Yen, love all, play. So the number four seeds from Japan, Shizuka Matsuo and Mami Nato. Nearest to us getting this women's doubles final underway against the number seven seeds, Poon Lok Yan and Si Ying Sui of Hong Kong. And what a good opening rally. Goodness me, wonderful defense from Poon Lok Yan. One, Their first ever Super Series final twice semi-finalists previously including here last year Oof, she got it back well two very good rallies to start this final and this the fourth meeting between these two pairs of the previous three, it's the Japanese pair who won two of them. And at the last time they met, which was the last 16 of the All England Championships earlier this year, obviously with the Hong Kong pair going through to the quarter final, they obviously won on that occasion. It was a tough battle I remember watching it it was 22-20-22-20 30 years of trying Japan has had to win a title here at their home events will it be this pair that rewrites the record books Mystic. Both the Hong Kong players still compete in women's singles. Rarity in badminton nowadays to play singles and doubles. Oh, it's landed in. Perhaps a sign of the nerves. When you're nervous, sometimes your judgment just abandons you.
five straight points for the number four seeds from Japan. That's a nervous looking shot to me. Well, at the beginning of the week, if somebody suggested that Japan would win their first ever title here this year, I would have predicted women's doubles, but I'm not sure I would have predicted this pair in the final. Of course, the Olympic silver medalists were the number one seeds. Mizuki Fuji and Loreka Kakiwa. They went out in their very first match, which was in fact the second round. And then I probably would have predicted the number three seeds, Maeda and Suitsuda, and more likely candidates than Matsuo and Mami Nato. But they have played superbly well all week. Coming under the radar, always a very consistent pair, always battle very hard on court. Now, if you were with us yesterday, watching this Hong Kong pair against Maeda and Suetsuna, I've seen how well they work together as a pair. Well, there's another sign of the nerves. They are still very young. She's the older of the two. Pu Lok Yan. 21 years of age, her partner just 20. Great variation in her attacking play. There's the good angle. And a final little clip down in between her two opponents. Once again, no real pace on her downward shot, causing problems for the Japanese pair. It's so much easier to defend if you feed off your opponent's pace on a smash. You've got to create the pace on your defensive plate. Much more difficult. Oh my goodness, what a dreadful serve. Got what it deserved. Oh, 
was shocking, wasn't it? Well, that is definite nerves. Twenty seconds. Later is family um, from the Fukushima region. Almost tragically, that area of Japan made famous throughout the world for all the wrong reasons. There's a tsunami last year in the nuclear Lovely. power plant. So the Japanese pair with this three point advantage. That's another good smash. Oh, they were very, very good in their attacking play yesterday. Well, what's really impressed me about their semi-final, the youngsters from Hong Kong, was having held that lead, that 16-12 advantage in the opening game, to then lose the next nine points and lose that opening game. The way they came back in the second, winning it 21-8, showed remarkable character. Oh, the Japanese pair didn't like the call, but it was called good. And therefore, the three points since the mid-game interval have all gone in favour of the pair from Hong Kong. It's back level. Four points since the mid-game interval. That's nice. Uh, it's a very, very well-worked rally. As we were saying in the early stages, how polished they were yesterday, how well they worked for each other, create the openings. Five straight points. Right, the run comes to an end, much to the relief of the fans here in Tokyo. Just to finish off the rally, I suspect. See you into it. That's why she made the error. A big swing of the racket. And it means that we're all level once again. channel attack in the early stages where the Hong Kong pair hitting down the center of the court narrowing the angle of reply now they've opened up the angles yeah there's one and again that's better down the middle that's where they 
gained their success in the early stages. It's a very good rally, a much Some more patient, much more controlled in their attacking play, the Hong Kong pair. Japanese pair, like so many Japanese women's doubles pairs, so content to defend for so long within the rallies. That defense is broken down. 70, 50. Oh, it's called good. Well, the umpire has overruled the call. Yeah, it was wide too. Good umpiring. Eighteen fifteen, and a stunned silence from the crowd. as well and a gasp crowd held their breath but it was indeed wide they're now two points away from the opening game in Hong Kong combination Gave away the attack with the flick serve. And that to me is bewildering. There's now four game point opportunities for Poon Lok Yan and Si Yu Siet.
านอยู่ดีชลมมาลอยสนุกโอ้โหอันนี้ the ends The patient attacking play of Poon Lok Yan and s e e i n g Suet pays dividends. They've taken the opening game 21-17 in 20 minutes of play. Is from Hong Kong. And two Japanese coaches talking to the players individually. Going through the minds of Shizuka Matsuo and Manu Nato. I wonder if they will begin to look to take more initiative rather than just gifting away the attacking opportunity to their opponents. If that's an indication, I oh, missed it, and that's a pity from a Japanese perspective because if they'd won. With attacking play, I think they would have been more willing to attack from the onset of the rallies. Yeah, that's much better. Don't they do that from the start of the match? I've got good attack, good variation. 
And of course, the tall left hander, Annie Nato, can create wonderful angles. set up with the tight spinning net plate. Got to do something, the Japanese pair. Turn this around. Otherwise, Japan's wait for a first title in the home event will continue for another year. Fortune favours the brave. Yeah, clearly in. Oh, that's about the first time we've seen her dominant at the net. Not the tallest of athletes, but my goodness, that was great placement, aiming towards the left hip of the left-hander, smashing across the body. Creeping back.
And it's a much more positive period of play by the Japanese pair. Four straight points by the number four seeds has reduced the deficit to just one point. Now they're back level. idea just overdoing it that's a good smash Matsuo too committed to the backhand defense Goes down her forehand side, trying to play inside out defense. long of the back line having caught back level oh, just as quickly the gap opens up again once again in favor of the Hong Kong pair uh, ready for the flick serve now too many flicks on Kun Lok Yan. Remember, she hit that dreadful serve earlier on. Attempted low serve and perhaps lost confidence with that. That's why she's flicking so much. language oh see not terribly good there looking very disappointed Disappointment, frustration. long and the Hong Kong pair have the advantage here in the second game same score line as the mid-game interval in the opening game but to the opposite pair because in the opening game it was the Japanese pair that led 11-8 and they couldn't convert here in the second game 
King and C have the three point advantage. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. to see Japanese teammates in the beaten semi-finalists Maeda and Suetsuna here supporting. 11-8 play. Serve goes in again from the Hong Kong pair. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, my goodness. Having worked the opening, set up the rally, what should have been the final winning smash goes into the net. Oh, that is disappointing for the Japanese pair. Matsuo who makes the an error. And the Hong Kong pair have a four point cushion. for the cross courts. And of course, had that come back, it would have come up onto the forehand of the right-hander. Clever play. Unbelievable. What a rally. Sometimes it's a rally like that that can turn the whole momentum of a match. Well, not only a highly skillful rally, very physically demanding rally too. No wonder they're all taking the opportunity to tail down, take on board some liquid. Right. 
10, 14. Mm, so often happens when we have a tremendous rally. Looks rally a little disappointing. Super play. Goodness me, isn't it a difference? Don't they look so impressive when they involve their net player? That's well put away by Shizuka Matsuo. A sudden they're looking for the shuttle at the net number four seeds from Japan and all of a sudden they look a lot more impressive Both the Japanese players in the front half of the court, both looking for the opportunity to play the kill. Japanese pair now are beginning to get the Hong Kong players out of position. Oh, there's no, just one point in it. back level well goodness me my mind's flashing back to yesterday's semi-final when the Hong Kong pair was 16-12 up in the opening game and still lost it can't help but think when of course they were 16-13 up today Such an 
important point. Oh, that's nice. Very, very nice. Lovely little guided shot from Shizuka Matsuo into the open space. And in fact, they've gone into the lead. The number four seeds on a run of four straight points. set up with a good serve 17. interception of the third shot and then able to finish off the rally nice play from Siyun Suet again good serve oh, even better return no, the line judge initially looked as if he might indicate out but I thought it clipped the line. And I thought it was a correct call. Oh, desperately close. attacking play in the early stages directed at Mami Nato and all the attacking play was the same pace just seemed to get into a rhythm mm, the Japanese pairs say the shuttle is fine don't want to change it again no advantage giving away the attacking play and now it is match point opportunity to the youngsters from Hong Kong good return of serve it's 20 all, and we will require extra points until there's a clear two-point winning margin. Good serve. Yep. 
pushes long of the back line. So slow. Anyone? Second match point opportunity for Poon and C. Is two off the floor, three off the floor. They've done it. And Japanese hearts are broken. A first ever title for Pu Lok Yan and Si Ying Suet. Not only a first Super Series title, it's the first title that they've ever won together. And Japan's wait for a title here at their home event will have to wait until the 32nd staging of the Japan Open. Oh, a bit of disappointment for the number four seeds, Shizuka Matsuo and Mami Nato. And for the Hong Kong pair, absolute delight this the final rally and my goodness two shots three shots off the floor defending the left-handed C and it was she who played the winning shot and there the delight for a pair who have been as high as number nine in the world rankings they now have their first ever title and it's a major title too. It's the Yonex Open Japan Super Series event in 2012.
followed by a retirement and farewell ceremony of Ms. Reiko Tsuyoka. Thank you for your patience. ただいまより女子ダブルス表彰式を行います。Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the award ceremony of women's doubles. 優勝、ブーン・ロークヤン選手、セ・イン・セット選手、ホーコー・チャンガ。The winners are Bruno Lockyan. Yes, they're invited to step forward. weren't sure about the right moment. The right moment is now. Poon Lok Yan and Si Ying Suet, their first ever title together, and it's a Super Series title, the Japan Open. Disappointment, obviously, for the Japanese pair, Shizuka Matsuo and Mami Nato. The winner's plate is given by Miss Nora Perry of England, the former winner of the Olympics Open Japan and All England Championship in women's doubles and mixed doubles. So, Mrs. Nora Perry, twice world champion, winner of the first ever Japan Open women's doubles, presents the trophy to the youngsters from Hong Kong. And the winner's medals are presented by Mr. Kai San Ransky Paul, the deputy president of the Badminton World Federation. So Kai San Ransky Paul, deputy president of BWF, presents the medals. Well, they've been promising for some considerable time of this young, young pair from Hong Kong, and today they have delivered in fine style. Disappointments for Shizuka Matsuo and Mami Nato. Yeah, they had such high hopes of winning Japan's first ever title in their home event. It wasn't to be. The winner's prize of 15,800 US dollars is presented by Mr. Keiichi Yanagi, the executive managing director of the Olympics. So, Mr. Yanagi, executive managing director of Yonex, presenting the prize money. And 7,600 US dollars is presented to the runners. The winners also win the Austin Euphoria, the world's first two-nine leg massager, presented by Mr. Eugene Yange, the vice president of the Nippon Badminton Association. A first ever title for the Hong Kong pair, Hu Lok Yan and Si Ying Sui. How well they've played all week. Yeah, the Japanese pair. Well, perhaps they wanted this just a little too desperately to rewrite the record books as far as Japanese winners of the Japan Open are concerned.
but the weights for Chaban goes on. Maybe, just maybe, at the 32nd staging of this prestigious event. 31st year, of course, this year of the Yonex Open here in Japan. One of the oldest and most prestigious events on the world tour. So as the women's doubles players pose for the photographers, that of course concludes our last final for this afternoon from Tokyo. Japan opened the eighth event on the OSIM BWF World Super Series. Only one of our finals going the full distance. And that, of course, was the women's singles. Uh, big, big smiles for the youngsters from Hong Kong. Disappointment for them at the Olympics. They were fourth in their group. My goodness, haven't they bounced back well? So just to confirm that they are indeed the champions. In fact, that is the results from all five finals this afternoon. And of course, it started with the Malaysian pair winning their first ever Super Series title and a first ever mixed doubles Super Series title for Malaysia. That makes it complete because they've now won from Malaysia. Super Series titles in all five disciplines. Lee Chong Wei, his third title here at the Japan Open, beating Boom Sak Ponsana in two straight games. And how bravely the unseeded Iriko Hiroshi fought against the highly talented Tai Su Ying of Taipei. Then the men's doubles and Ku and Tan looking for a third title for Malaysia in the day were defeated in their third final here at the Japan Open, losing out to Kim Ki Jung and Kim Sa Rang from Korea, the Asian champions. And as we've just witnessed in the women's doubles, the youngsters from Hong Kong, a first ever title, and it's a biggie. It's a super series. It's the Japan Open. Go to Poon Lok Yan and see Ying Suet. So, of course, it's been a wonderful week here in Tokyo. It's been a wonderful finals day. We started with the mixed doubles. And then, after Malaysian Delight in final number one, it was Malaysian Delight once again for Lee Chong Wei. His third title here to go with those titles he won in 2007 and 2010. Then for the 18-year-old Tai Su Ying, breaking the hearts of Japanese fans. And in the men's doubles, well, Kim and Kim were simply too good for Ku and Tan. And then in the women's doubles, well, the youngsters from Hong Kong have played magnificently all week and they thoroughly deserved the title well of course as i say this the eighth tournament in the 12 tournament super series we move on to denmark is the next event i certainly hope you'll be able to join us for that but in the meantime